Hodgson and I'm here on behalf of Cornell Amplification. And what I'm about to demonstrate is this lovely Cornell Rambler 15. What it is, is a 15 watt twin channel non-master volume amp head, although it's available in com combo form as well. Uh, what makes it different is that it's a single ended class A amplifier. It uses EL84 valves and I'll talk a bit more about that later. So, briefly running down what it has here, two inputs, high and low. As I said, it's a twin channel amplifier, so when the foot switch has its light on, the little red light, which is uh, reflected in the uh, on chassis light there, you're in channel one, as Den calls it. Quite simply, you have volume and tone. When you hit the foot switch, the light will go off and you're in channel two, which is a little bit more comprehensive. As you may see, there's volume, treble, bass, and middle. This here, which is currently labelled on the prototype as peak A, B and C, quite simply think of it as three of the EL84 valves, or two, or one. Den prefers not to call it an output control, but it does of course affect the volume. Also regarding the volume, think of this switch here as an environment level control. As you may be able to see, it says studio on stage kind of self-explanatory. In a studio you would of course be expected to run a lower volume and crank the amp up it. So studio and stage. So just summarising those two controls there, you can reduce the number of valves in use, the EL84s, in single class operation, single class, class A rather, and then adjust the overall level. Okay, that's enough talking, let's hear how it sounds. Elsewhere in this demo, you'll hear me using the Rambler 15 on channel 1 with volume set very low, at minimum really, to keep it clean. And I had channel 2, pretty much as it is here, for medium to fairly high gain sounds. But now, for the sake of change and to demonstrate the versatility of the Rambler 15, I've simply raised the volume pretty much to max on channel 1. As I say, I haven't really touched channel 2, so as a point of reference, I have channel 2 engaged. Um, and just to demonstrate its versatility, even on that one channel, I'm going to play softly and loudly. Just listen to the sound. No effects pedals. Channel 1, as you've never heard it before. Even on Channel 1, I bet I can get a clean sound. Channel 1 maxed out. I've just gone onto the neck humbucker, I've turned the guitar down a bit and I'm playing more softly. How many amps would give you this major 7 first inversion chord with each note clear?
Thank you.